Welcome back. We are getting into episode 5 of Tiger King. What have we learned so far? No one can be trusted. Everyone's a criminal. Tigers get you laid. And don't trust anybody. Nobody. Everyone is crazy in the tiger game. And it's so great. It's so great. This is so good. A hustler came in and stole Joe's zoo. Can't make this shit up. I don't know what they could do. They could top the last three episodes. I am enjoying this binge watch. It is now 4 o'clock in the morning. Let's get into episode 5. You ready for the party? And if you got too close, you're gonna no, no. I don't. Look monkeys, no. I'd rather have the lion. Fabulous. Millions of people a week are following it. How do you do that? Our content is so Animals. Do, don't do that to a chimp. They will rip your arms right off. <laughs> That's cute. That's kind of cute. Why are these animals so amazing? I don't think you really need to pay when you have tigers. Apparently all he needs to do is bring tigers and then women just fall all over him, so... From the time Jeff came into the picture, the whole dynamic of the park changed. Jeff somehow seduced Joe. Joe fell in love with the premise. Joe handed Damn, my the boy Joe got to taken. To prevent Carol from <laughs> taking the keys to the kingdom, Jeff proceeded to try and separate him from his wealth. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. I had a guy who worked for me for years, a great guy. I said, Alan, <clears throat> I said, what would you think about moving out here? So to give you a place to stay. And First guy to the zoo, I didn't really know anything about the zoo. I don't even think I've ever really been to it. <laughs> they required a lot of money. We met this guy named James Gerritsen through Joe. Jeff talked me into giving him $14,000 to open a pizza restaurant. Damn, He's Jeff is hustling people left and right. Patio, best pizza. Did not make from scratch. <laughs> is there anything Joe Exotic, Exotic can't do? Use the Walmart donation program to lower the food costs. You think most of the meat was from the Walmart truck? Yeah. Joe was always trying to be bigger than what he was. Actually, that's probably Joe Exotic's redeeming quality is that he's so hardworking and he's so industrious. He just keeps doing all these cool things. Like he's got the zoo, he's got this music label. He made a killer track, Hey Kitty Kitty. He has an internet show that broadcasts around the world. On the internet, worldwide, every night at six o'clock. And now he makes pizza. I think you gotta respect that. Whatever other shady things Joe did, you gotta respect the man's ambitiousness. Jeff was the owner of the park. Joe was the star of the show. Jeff was For the star reason. of the show. Joe Exotic is how many people know him. He mailed off this form announcing his intent to run for president as an independent. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. I just complimented this man's work ethic for making pizza. And now he's running for president. Good. Great. Good job, Joe. Awesome, Joe. You're the man. Why, I mean, why wouldn't he run for president? He actually thought he had a chance. Yeah, he, yeah. He didn't have a chance. No. He got chance in hell. Yeah. Well, what's this platform? Tiger Cubs for everyone? There's independent writing candidate Joe Exotic, who produces incredible campaign videos. I'm not changing the way I dress. I refuse to wear a suit. I am gay. I'm broke. <laughs> That's pretty Florida. good. Wow. Can I go back and cast my vote? I would like Joe to go back is truly the candidate and cast my vote for Joe Exotic. With. He could do worse. Even though they were making fun of him, Joe was the star. Everybody yeah. was adding him on I think Facebook that if you do so social media, you get to the point where all attention is good. You don't even care if people hate you or not. You just want attention. Leave a like on this video. Good looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that guy deserves an Oscar. Good looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. Hello. We're getting a good look at your national defense program. I was Joe's campaign manager for about a year and a half. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was the worst experience of my life. It was horrible. Horrible, horrible. This guy looks like he's been through some... <laughs> Joe Exotic for president was 100% a complete and total publicity stunt. I mean, obviously. It's all about outrage. Get as much views as possible. Yeah, it's I'm genius. A a $3 bill. When that fell apart, he decides to run for... Governor. Well, libertarian. For to work for Joe. Of course, he's like, libertarian. You know, and I already knew he was bad crazy from our conversations at Walmart. I was a manager at Walmart at the time, and I worked at the ammo section. That is quite the promotion. And he come in and buy Tannerite, which is uh, something you can. So that's where he's getting it. I was wondering where he had all his explosives. Walmart's best customer. He thought he was going to win. That's why this guy didn't succeed as his campaign manager, because he didn't believe. If he had only believed, we could have Joe Exotic as governor of Oklahoma. When people are running for any sort of election, there's a Look lot of God handing. There's a lot of baby kissing. Joe 
passed out condoms with his face on them. <laughs> for me, or you need this because you're screwed. It's more entertaining. Does Joe Exotic sleep? <laughs> what a wild interview. <laughs> that guy seems alarmed. I love that he's a libertarian. That's he awesome. He has no idea what a libertarian is. Yeah. He I still figured. has no idea what a libertarian is. It's got the word liberty in it. That's all you need to know. Our eventual platform was my platform. Less government, less spending. I love how this Walmart guy is like a true politician. If libertarian means I can own tigers. And nobody will be allowed to be keeping keeping these big cats as pets any longer or breeding them or using them as pay to play props. Except for you me. Carol Baskin and Howard Baskin spend most of their time and most of their money sucking ass to the politician. That's politic. Doc Antle brought exotic cats into the halls of Congress because if you can get somebody to sit down and pet a cheetah and have their picture made, then when I come in there and say, this is really cool. Is there any problem you really can't cool, solve with wild they've animals? They've already done it. So they're like, well, if I say this is cruel now, people are going to say I'm a hypocrite. And so our That's opponents pretty are genius. really smart in the way that they get out there ahead of us. <laughs> we're not going <laughs> to take wild animals into public buildings to make our point. Joe, he had a lot of charisma. I'll say. Uh, anyone that I could get him in front of, we had their votes. Joe turned into a little bitch and Damn. started griping and complaining about Alan. I think Joe thought that I put Alan here as a plant to report back to me what was going on. Unimaginable, man. He was hateful. Staff tried to get me killed in a cage. They put cologne on my shoes. She was just fascinated by his shoes that day. <laughs> Goes on. Ow, son of a Oof. Oh no. No, 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 no. God damn you. Here's all these people filming Joe being dragged around and nobody's oh, going no. in to rescue him. Get out! Go! He didn't shoot the cat, did he? Get! Okay, good. He's just shooting in the air, right? He's shooting in the air. And nobody helped me. Nobody. He came out of the story. Somebody put something on my shoes. Are they trying to attack him right now? Makes a liger attack your shoe. If I were gonna, you know, if somebody wanted to kill you, if I were gonna, you know, kill you, then they would put like <sighs> sardine oil all over you. Something that the cat wants to eat, not something- So you're admitting it. On. You did it. This is my yeah, Joe was Joe's very losing controlling. It. He was showering me with gifts. John and Travis are both 19 when they met Joe. Travis was a pothead from hell. I knew there was drug use going on. I had my dice of meth. This guy's nuts, obviously. One Understatement of the year. meth does, somehow or another, it concentrates in your teeth. We, we call it meth mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nice meth editing cut was, there. He told me with his own mouth that he wasn't gay. Travis was not gay. Travis was banging every girl in the park. John Finley came out and said, look, I got to tell you, I'm really not gay. I've been sleeping with the girl at the front desk. And uh, what the hell? Are you serious? What the heck? How do you put up with that? That long then? For meth? Is meth that good? Neither Travis nor John Finley were gay. That's insane. And Joe admitted that to me. How do you go along with it to the point where you get married then? You guys edit this. I want you to show it to him. I need that. I need someone I can just say that to. You guys just edit this. Oh, so that's what that was. I was wondering. Is he trying to make me blow my top? Travis was sitting underneath the camera, but it was pointing directly at me. He complained that he was a prisoner, that he was never allowed to leave the park. He wasn't allowed to get a job. All this was true. And frankly, he is upset that he didn't have enough pot. Last sugar before I die. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. He's smoking his last cigarette before he dies. He'd always pointed guns at people all the time out there at the park. Sometimes he'd wake you up pointing a gun at you. So he had done that to me again in that office that morning and said, oh man, this is a Ruger. There's no clip in it. You know a Ruger won't fire without a clip. I was sitting in a chair, you know, looking at him when he put the gun to his head. Oh no. It's not like on the movies. I thought it was a joke. Because, you know, Travis was a jokester. He was a prankster. He liked to play pranks on people. But when I showed up at the zoo that day to get some order what going an on, idiot. Joe passed out on the front porch shaking. I just kind of <sighs> felt like I was attached by pain to Joe. You know, this poor a guy, big man. accident happened. You it know, sucks he, for Dial. He really loved him. On the computer to write a letter to a senator or a congressman or something else, he brought to him and rubbed them balls in my face. <laughs> That is the most. Here, and I was exactly what I'm talking about, because you've seen these balls. 
<laughs> is this endearing? I don't know. This funeral is just a Joe Exotic show. He has to do a show wherever he goes, or whatever he does. Yeah, yeah, Joe show. That's the worst it's the Joe show twenty four seven. Ever in my whole life. I have tried all day to hold this together. That's tough. What have we learned so far? No one can be trusted. The word high in clouds has floated by that I've got pictures of. I've got pictures of perfect angels. He's losing it even more than he already like had. Travis's death and Joe really completely lost it. I don't like this. Part, this is dark. Part. Sad. How does Joe keep meeting these people? <laughs> I met Dylan in a chat room. We went to dinner and then we went home. And went to Tigers? Yes. Is it early? Yeah, that'd okay. be fun. Yeah. Deal. How does I'll he do it? Tiger. How does he keep doing it? I, I honestly have no idea. When he proposed, I just said, I said yes. He invited me to the wedding, so on the social media, well, Travis's mom's fine with it, so everybody else should be. Didn't hear anything from him again. Ugh, that's brutal. He was done with me. <laughs> Used and abused. Feel bad for her. The sun's coming up. Merry Christmas. The show. The show is an adventure. The end of the campaign when, when it's an I, adventure. I felt like we were probably surging because he started listening to advice. He asked Josh, what are we going to do if we win? <laughs> That's great. Yo, Libertarian God, paradise. You know, he's not afraid to say what he wants to say and do what he wants to do. And sorry if he steps on some toes, but he does it anyway. So I feel like you could say that about any politician. That is the most generic politician praise I've ever heard. The second he gets elected governor, not that it'll happen, but Carol goes to jail slash the electric chair oh he's on the board that's pretty cool all right joe what happened tonight <laughs> we lost how many death threats did you get a couple okay so that's the sign <laughs> of a successful campaign trust me couple. is that how that works interesting yeah. joe's such a bizarre case because i respect him so much for his ambition and all the stuff he does but he's out of his mind we knew something was going on I blame you know, he Carol. Was already a paranoid person, but the paranoia was not unfounded. We found a microphone and an antenna what the heck? about that tall. So we just interviewed Jeff Lowe. He had incoming calls from a federal agent. Who the hell still talks to Joe? That would even just being kind of obvious he about it. It was sort of funny when we started, but it got really dark. That's a pretty good synopsis of the show. Episode five in the bag. Let's go to episode six. Why not? Let's do it.